Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. CyanogenMod has finally released CyanogenMod 11 for the HTC One M8. So this phone's been out now for about a month, and just the other day they released the first nightly build. Big shout outs to the Verizon maintainer, Invisibleak. Now you guys may be confused if you head to the CyanogenMod download link, as there are no variant specific files. So Basically, the way this works is a unison build. It'll flash on all variants. On the Verizon variant and all of the variants, of course, you have to be rooted with S off, bootloader unlocked, and a custom recovery install. My personal favorite recovery is TeamWin Recovery Project, but Clockwork Mod Recovery will work as well. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description. You'll grab the Signage Mod Nightly. I go with the latest Nightly. This one was downloaded on May 5th. And then you want to make sure that you pick up the G apps. Uh, while you're grabbing that file. Like I said, I'll be sure to have links to both of those in the description. Then you'll power off your device. Before you power it off, make sure you go into settings and power and make sure that this fast boot is unchecked. You might be able to boot into the H boot mode if that is not unchecked. So we'll go ahead and power down. Okay, once we're powered off, we're going to hit volume down and power. That should get us into the H-boot mode, which it does, and then you'll scroll down using volume down to recovery, hit the power, and that will boot us into Team Wind Recovery Project or whichever recovery you have installed on your device. Okay, so from here, you just want to make sure that your files are on the SD card, and they are. So like I said, you need the CyanogenMod 11 file and also the GApps KitKat version. Okay, from there, we'll wipe data cache and Dalvik cache. Give that just a few seconds to do its thing. From there we'll go back and we'll install CyanogenMod 11. Make sure that that is what you're flashing. Of course you could have hit the button to add a file uh, or you can just flash the gapps after CyanogenMod finishes. Just kind of give it a few seconds to do its thing. Okay, once that finishes and says successful, we'll go back. We'll find our G apps. Make sure that you are flashing the G apps. Swipe to flash. This won't take long, and then we can reboot our device. Now, the first reboot is going to take several minutes because you have totally factory reset your phone. You've wiped all the data, and it's having to boot up for the first time. So we'll just click reboot system, and that should reboot our device. So what do you get with CyanogenMod 11? Uh, with CyanogenMod 11, you do get full AOSP Android. So this is the vanilla version of Android. It's just how Google meant for you to have Android on your device. There is no Sense 6 present at all. So if you're accustomed to looking at Blink Feed on a daily basis, you're not going to be able to use that anymore when you're on CyanogenMod 11. All of the Sense 6 camera features are gone, which Sanjimon has an excellent set of camera features, so you're really not going to miss much. You will probably miss the U-Focus and the 3D effects because this Sanjimon does not make use of the dual cameras on the back of the phone. So that's one thing to consider. Um, also, you'll get lots of customizations. I'm going to do a full review of Sanjimon on the HTC One M8 soon, so you'll want to be subscribed to see that. Uh, just real quickly, we'll go ahead and set it up. Okay, so now that we have the phone set up here we'll go into settings real quick and we'll look at the version so we're running android version 4.4.2 and signage mod version uh, is the 405 sorry the 2014 may 7th nightly build okay so there is your easter egg for signage mod 11 uh, like I said, we'll have the full review of this ROM coming up soon. This is a pretty clean ROM, so there's not a ton of customization like you find on, say, an AOSP or a Liquid Smooth. Basically, you just get some extra features that enhance the experience of your phone, and you get an incredibly stable and fast ROM without all the bloat that you get with Sense 6. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage, including the full review of CyanogenMod 11 for the HTC One M8. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. And please be sure to share this video. It helps me more than you know. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.